Welcome to this fun Christmas card idea for beginners. Let's get started. A full list of materials can be found in the description below. This painting is totally from my imagination. As you can see here, I'm just squeezing out some dots of colours, yellows, reds, browns. I've got some Payne's grey. I'm using a flat one inch brush and just blending the colours starting at the bottom. I'm keeping the sort of darker colours away from the yellows at first but I never rinse my brush so just blend in the sort of black and browns and reds, steer away from those yellows, take your time and as you can see now I'm blending in the yellow paint now so you get more of an orangey colour because obviously you've got reds and browns and Payne's grey already on the canvas there. As you can see I'm using a black canvas so I'm starting dark working to light which is a very traditional way of working in acrylics and I'm actually mixing up now some of the green with the yellow to finish off and this is all the sort of Christmas tree Christmas tree branches above here still using the same brush blending with my fingertips as well which is fun but you can use another brush for this as well just to kind of blend some of the colors together you can see by the shine on the paint it's still quite wet so I'm adding actually adding some more Payne's gray I felt I didn't have enough dark I wanted some more contrasting darks and lights so I'm painting it really towards the edge there the top right and the middle right there and again blending with my fingertips there which I really enjoy doing and again if you want to have a chance to do it but you don't like the mess you can always put on some gloves so it's a good time now to allow your painting to dry once your painting is dry just use a masking tape roll or framing tape is what I'm doing here and just draw with a circle if you want to do this with the other baubles you can different sort of size you can use a bottom of a mug or something like that I'm just applying now some Payne's grey with my flat one inch brush and just blending it around there you can see I've used plenty of paint so really always fully load your paint I actually squeezed a blob on there making it easier not really using my palette so much and just sort of trying to really sort of paint up to the edge of the circle that I drew there as you can see I've got some other blobs now and I'm just going to blend those as well. I'm not haven't even drawn a circle here. I'm just using my fingertips to create the circles there, which is really fun to do. And as you can see, I'm using the yellow there. Now these are all dark colors. Remember in acrylics we work dark to light. So I'm using the sort of darker side of the reds, blues and yellows there blending in. I'm using phthalo blue here. You could use Prussian blue or even ultramarine with a touch of Payne's gray. Is what I'm doing here now. I'm adding some Payne's Grey to the blue while it's still wet, blending with my fingertips, but you could use a brush if you wanted to blend. So again, it's a good time to allow your painting to dry. And as you can see, the painting is dry now. There's no shine on there. But you can see as beginners, you just have to get this sort of abstracty background going and then these circles. And what I'm doing now is I'm using Payne's Grey with a little bit of Burnt Sienna. I'm just sort of painting really dark sort of marks here. When you're painting anything shiny, you have these extreme darks and lights but also mid-tones as well. I'm also painting the sort of metal clasp at the top of the bauble there that holds it in place with some Payne's grey with a touch of red on all of the baubles there using a smaller brush. I'm actually a quite an impressionistic painter so I'd like to keep everything loose. Now if you want to create more of an element of realism you just spend longer painting much more details and you'll get that realistic look but try to keep it really loose at the beginning. I'm also using some little dots here, dark dots with my small round brush to create the look of the chain holding those baubles there. Again it's imaginary. If you want to you could find a photograph on Pixabay or Pexels.com to inspire you so you can actually paint some baubles using these techniques. So I've actually added a little bit more light to the yellow baubles there using just yellow straight from the tube and it's a cadmium yellow and I'm also using the sort of blue straight from the tube here, the phthalo blue, you can use primary blue and I blended that in there so you've just got that sort of mid-tone there. I'm painting in some sort of darker green, it's wet on dry here with a small round brush just to show the sort of branches there of the Christmas tree so you could use the blue with a touch of yellow and here the, it's a slightly lighter green here so I've 
I've used the yellow with a touch of blue the other way round, so you get more of a yellow, lighter green. I'm painting sort of tinsels or streamers here, just using this sort of round brush, wet on dry. It's just a dark to begin with. Again, remember acrylics, try to work dark to light. Try not to use any white paint at the beginning. I always tell my students to this, it works, because sometimes if you go light too quickly, you tend to flatten your painting. So get all those darks and mid-tones on, build that painting up, you won't be sorry. Again, it's a good time to allow your painting to dry so you can start painting your lighter tonal values. I'm just using a mid-tone here of some red with a touch of Payne's Grey, so I'm painting this wet on dry on the main baubles there. I just love painting like this, you know, you're sort of constructing something, it's almost like sculpting in a way, and remember when you're painting like this as beginners or if you're intermediate, try to show the sort of surface of what you're painting. So don't just paint everything in one direction. Go sort of, as you can see here, I'm sort of going down in a sort of soft way and then coming across the sort of surface of the bauble to kind of describe it in a sort of arc way to show the circular sort of surface of the bauble there. Again, doing the same here, blending again with my fingertips. I'm using a little bit of white now with the phthalo blue to show the lighter tonal values on these baubles. You can be quite abstract with this as well and it would make such a great Christmas card. Um, just sort of, you know, you could do it on a smaller sort of piece of acrylic paper and stick it on a sort of folded card. It would look so impressive. Or you could take a photograph of your finished painting and print off um, the sort of painting and then use the prints and put them on cards as well. Or print off on card and then sort of fold it over. And uh, I always think it's quite nice to sign them as well. It, looks, it gives it a personal touch. As you can see there, I'm using yellow with some white painting in those lighter tonal values on the yellow baubles. Can you see it coming to life? You can just paint these abstract shapes and it just sort of gives it a pop of light and starts to make it look more 3D and shiny as well. As you saw there, I'm just using some white with a little bit of the blue there just for some highlights on the baubles. And now I'm painting some lights on the greenery there using my round brush with a mixture of green with a tiny touch of blue there. Just little dashes. I'm using some of the yellow ochre, touch of yellow, touch of white there for some light on the sort of golden clasps there as well. So I've really gone sort of quite light there uh, against the dark dry background there I painted earlier there. Just a few marks, just all you need to do. And now it's a good time to allow your painting to dry again. And I'm actually painting some even lighter marks on these clasps here using white with a touch of the yellow ochre with my small round brush there for the detail. And now I'm mixing up some red with a touch of the Payne's Grey and I'm painting in sort of a mid tone here of red on these streamers building up remember dark to light so I've got the dark tone this is almost like the mid tone and I'll be building up to a lighter tone as well so once I finish that mid tone I'm going to allow my painting to dry to start painting a mid to light tone using the blue and the white on these streamers so keeping it really simple quite abstract in a way just a little dash of paint here and there on those streamers really brings them to life it's so effective so just work with that process. I promise you, you, you'll just create the illusion and it does look so Christmassy. So again, it's a good time to allow your painting to dry. And now I'm going to be painting some yellow on the streamers. Yellow with some white, painting wet on dry, just through the gaps there. And it gives a, a little glimmer, like a shiny sort of golden glimmer on those streamers as well. And I'm also using that same light yellow colour on the sort of chain that's holding the 
those baubles, which is very effective. Again, sort of painting in between the darks there using my small round brush there, painting wet on dry. It just gives that sparkle. And I'm actually using some yellow with white as well and painting the highlights on the clasp as well. And it really brings it to life. It makes it look shiny, but you can see why it's so important to work dark to light. So you've got your darks, your mid-tones, your light tones, and now your highlights using literally white straight from the tube there. And I'm just sort of painting just sort of really just minimal marks. So what I'm doing now on this bauble here is I'm painting the red straight from the tube. It's a cadmium red. It's really bright and light. So it's more of my lighter tones there. And I'm just sort of trying to pick out little dots and shapes really to describe the sort of surface of the bauble, but also the lights and the shapes of the lights going on as well. I'm telling a story there. So you may have seen there that I added some yellow to the red as well to create an even lighter tonal value and just finding some little spaces there just to paint that wet on dry with my round brush. You know, again, describing the surface shape of the bauble there, but also the light as well. I'm adding a little bit of white and yellow here, blending with my fingertips as well, but just trying to create, tell a story with the yellow baubles as well, the light on there as well. I really enjoy this way of painting because you've got that structure of building light to dark and no one's gonna know if that little spot of light is in the wrong place. You're creating the illusion, you know, of these glass colorful baubles and it is so Christmassy looking as well and so much fun to do. So I'm painting a little bit more light now on to the streamers there, mixing up a little bit of sort of a violet sort of colour really, the blue, the white and the red there, just to make them really colourful, very Christmas, very festive. 
and again you just have to paint a little more I've added a little bit more white there as well I felt it wasn't light enough and it really pops and, and pulls those streamers away from the background as well and works quite well with the baubles you may feel it's a good time to dry your painting mine is actually dry it's dried off because I've been doing other work there but sometimes it's always good to give a little blow dry just in case so I'm still using this little round brush using literally just white with a touch of blue and painting little highlights on the blue baubles there softening as well with my fingertips or you can use a brush to blend as well but it's quite exciting try to keep all of the baubles with the same light source so if you put a white highlight on the blue bauble maybe you want to put a light white highlight on the same sort of location of another bauble as well so it just shows some sort of light source coming from the same direction um, don't worry if you don't do that because you can keep it quite abstract as well but it's quite a nice sort of tip there for future reference and I'm just painting a few more highlights on the streamers there literally white straight from the tube there wet on dry so I'm literally using white wet on dry here with my round brush just literally painting these little dots of light that are sort of reflecting reflecting other baubles other light sources and it just gives the illusion of them reflecting it and they're that they're shiny and uh, as you can see if you half close your eyes as well you can sort of see that as well again if you find this a bit tricky I would get sort of photographs of baubles you may find that really helpful um, creating these sort of different sort of shapes of colors and lights and darks etc but I just love sort of creating the illusion of something shiny or glass or something transparent even it's a real challenge but again as if you're a beginner if you just work literally from these very simple circular shapes of dark and then just gradually build up you will hopefully see this magical illusion of reality of these baubles you know it's that's what's so wonderful when you're using a 2d surface you can create a 3d image that's what i've always loved about painting always a good idea to dry your painting and check in with it sometimes you can lose your darts because you've got carried away with the lights and I think I did a little bit so I'm going back in with some darks here and there wet on dry on the left hand side with a mix of the red and the Payne's grey on the metal there just to really sort of shape it because it will go flat if you've got too many mid and light tones so you need those darks to show off the lights as you can see I'm doing there and it kind of really brings it to life a little bit more it is quite impressionistic again as I said if you want more of a realistic look you have to really be a little bit more intricate 
add that much more detail and you should get that more of an element of realism but I like a painting to look like a painting you know I like to see the brush marks and it almost underpainted in a way so I'm just adding a few more finishing touches to the baubles a few more highlights here and there but also I felt the red had too many highlights what's the great thing about acrylic painting is you can just paint over the top and hide your mistakes as it were and that's why it's quite relaxing to use and it allows you to experiment try out different ideas and you can be really creative I'm going back here with the cadmium red some more mid-tones as well um, they are the stars of the show and I I wanted to bring the red baubles forward give a little bit more information in here and plus I was enjoying myself so um, it was quite nice just to go back in revisit some of these lighter and mid-tone shapes so I think I'll leave my painting there for now here is the finished painting I'm really pleased with it I hope you enjoyed it even if you don't get to paint these baubles it's such a good exercise learning how to use acrylics working dark to light from that sort of very abstract background to that element of realism. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please put them in the comments section below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel where you'll get updates of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.